Okay, so I welcome you all for the first session from my side, that is uh, as a class coordinator of your TYB division class. And I welcome you all for semester one of your third year, 2021-22. So uh, the first uh, session as a formality, uh, you might be uh, facing to me uh, uh, first time because as due to this pandemic situation from the last one and a half year, all the semesters are going on in a online mode only. So I hope uh, after Diwali, we, we can meet and we can uh, see to each other. <laughs> that is what we can, right now we can um, say. So first uh, session as a part of this, the introduction of teacher. So my name is, as you can see on the screen, uh, is the screen is visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so visible. my name is S.A. Inamdar. I have completed, that is the educational qualification that is uh, PG, Yami in ENTC from this institute only under Solapur University. So <clears throat> as a class coordinator, I, I am uh, going to deal with your class this semester so just note it down my email address as you can see there sa inamda at the rate coe.swery.ac.in so for any official uh, correspondence you can just make on this one my mobile number is also there i have started to make a call to you or your parents for anyhow the uh, reasons are there so you can just note it down. This is my number, 866-8460038. So I am working with this institute from last 12 years. And before that, I was working in the industry and it was a work uh, there for uh, six years in various departments and the various sections and the various uh, platforms. But from uh, 2009, just I'm working in this institute. And from that, whatever the semesters came, the students came, the syllabus revised, and in that various subjects which I taught. So the list, I have just few of them that is I have added over here. That is digital technique, analog communication, the switching theory, logic device, broadband communication, computer communication network, electronic system design, and MCA. So this MCA is nothing but our subject for this semester. That is microcontrollers and applications. So you might be gone through all, all the subjects now. One one lecture, uh, it might be happened on your class. So you got that the which uh, subjects are there for this semester or from the timetable itself. So it is a request to all of you that uh, check the timetable in that all the subjects and newly uh, courses also we have added a uh, 30 uh, our courses uh, for uh, your uh, android or the, this particular python that we have added as you can see in the timetable so um, uh, probably in the coming uh, week we are going to start the practicals also and if the government gives the permission. So after Diwali, we will uh, go for the offline practicals also. That is in the labs. So you are also eagerly waiting for the same and we also. But by that time up to that, we have to go online. But uh, <clears throat> it has been observed that only 70% to 80% attendance we can observe in the class. For ATT sessions also, nobody has taken seriously and 80 to 85 percent attendance was there only. I called me so many times, but some and how you are giving the reasons, the network issue or the light issue or the, that rainy season, <clears throat> it might be there. It is genuine reasons, but anyhow, now onwards as the regular classes has been started, so academics has been started. So everyone has to take care that it is for your sake only it is going on. It may not get the repeated once again. So as this online platform, we are just uh, in, uh, interacting. So here the only the 
uh, what we can say if you are having any doubt or any query so here only in this sessions only you can just raise your hand and or you can ask the questions for every subject not for my subject only but the others also because afterwards uh, you are just uh, going uh, somewhere what you are doing we cannot observe from by just sitting over here so who is there naneshwari das okay so <clears throat> so this is also one thing and uh, other things that uh, whenever the sessions is going to be start so we will give you the five minutes only to get it in to just switch your from one class to other so don't take uh, <clears throat> more than that time to get in the session otherwise uh, some teachers will not allow you and afterwards uh, your absentee will be put there and as a cc i will when i will call then you will give the same reason okay only five minutes i was late and the sir has not get entered and all that but <clears throat> these are the few rules are there and a few what we can say the discipline we supposed to put on ourself itself so that no one uh, will get the chance to just make you out or the put your absenteeism okay so take care that you should ha have this the uh, perfect network in your mobile phone if it is not there in your house so go somewhere else where you capture the good network just check the battery backup also so this small small instructions as a cc only just i am uh, giving as the first session is there because i want a hundred percent attendance in every class or every lecture but it so this is what the uh, introduction of myself i uh, i can give for you if any doubts or any queries are there so definitely uh, you can put or whatsapp me uh, already i am on a group so don't hesitate to ask any type of queries second thing about self learning and open elective subject we have chosen so accordingly i put on uh, on the our group also so when the exam form we are going to fill so that time this is required to be remember and this is we have to put over there so next thing that is the naming format i told so even though one two students are remain to make that format properly so do it after this session uh, next thing is that the, your absenteeism so any time whenever you are having any genuine reason with you due to this this reason i cannot uh, appear or cannot attend the session so it is expected from your parent a one phone call to cc just one or two minutes it, it requires just ask your parents to just make a call to cc and tell them okay, due to this this problem my ward or my son my daughter is uh, cannot uh, attend this session then no issue we can understand there due to this pandemic situation or the other uh, some genuine reasons you may, may not have the uh, way to attend the class but only just a, a network is not there and all this so i was there but at the time of attendance only i left so such reasons are uh, i think it's a casual approach so don't be with uh, hold that casual approach so be attentive be serious and uh, it will give the benefits to you only the next thing that is the result so i hope uh, all uh, second year uh, you got the very good rank with the good cgpa you got, got there but uh, by mistake or by uh, unfortunately if someone got the any subject back so the backlog timetable i just put on uh, in the uh, our group so if anyone is having such backlog so please please uh, just contact to your class coordinator and tell them okay and other than that college mail id very important point so in the last year only the college mail ids are provided to you but within one year so many students has uh, shown the casualness and they are not using the 
your college mail id they forgot the college mail id it is not working it you didn't get the mails on that so such reasons are on uh, should not be there now so today it is a 4th of october just in this the session only just i am asking to you that ki if anyone's college mail id is not working so tell here only just put in the chat box that is getting the recorded so i can just uh, check afterwards or you can just put a email to me from your personal mail id ki sir my college mail id is not working but this should be done today itself those who are not present in this session so please tell to your friends to take action on that and your college mail id must be working because any notices any uh, facilities any uh, notes and all this academic material if we want to share so definitely we are sharing on your official mail id only this uh, link of lecture also onwards means after 2 3 days whenever uh, in the next week probably i am going to send on official mail ids only and these students only can join this our zoom session so you will say ki sir why this is and all that so this is a part of a discipline because it is as a college mail id is very important our college has given this facility to us so we supposed to take a benefit of it and we supposed to use the college mail id itself for login in the this lectures so if anyone is having any type of problem you can just put in the chat box or separately you can mail me or whatsapp me about, uh, regarding to this particular college mail id but from next week that is from monday next monday so i require your college mail id login working because i am going to send the link on that college mail id only got it all of you yes no anyone can just take a lead for that and you can tell yes sir okay so who is a cr from your class i think i displayed but i have not interacted that much with the cr or the br of your class so cr is here in the meeting yes sir okay nicely madam uh, today uh, have you attended uh, this crbr meeting yes sir okay no issue then so as per the result analysis i have just divided and i have nominated the, this particular names of a cr and br and i have displayed to that so as it is a online one so that's why we cannot just so made a uh, revision and all that so be there only so accept as it is and just take your own responsibility just take care of yourself and parallelly you supposed to just go ahead by taking the knowledge from this particular all the online sessions okay so with this the next point i want to just discuss as a class coordinator that is the admission front so as uh, it the notices we have sent on the groups so, so many times uh, so admission process of third year is been started so it is expected from all of you that you supposed to just take care and you have to Uh, you have to take care and uh, as far as the fees is concerned so first uh, last year fee that is a sy so that you supposed to just get it clear so that and that time only you will get the third year admission otherwise even though you are going to pay uh, the amount to the college so they will divert that amount to the second year fees and you will be in a ki ha i have taken uh, or i have given the fees of third year so just uh, discuss with your parents and before 6 that is 2 3 days are there still are there so you can just make a online payment the account details are also given already on the group so first clear uh, till 6 the second year fees so that will be the last date for this particular clearing the second year fee if anyone is having the bank loan and all that uh, if it is there so you supposed to just uh, make a email that uh, i will uh, 
going to apply or i have a bank loan and all that but for that also whatever the process is there so you supposed to just call to me in personally so that we can have a discussion and we can uh, or i will uh, intimate to the office accordingly otherwise uh, if your admission will be in the waiting list so definitely it will affect on the all the other matters that is exam form and all that the next thing are there but before that anyhow we supposed to just take the admission for the second year a uh, third year by just paying the fees for second year okay the late comers this is a 325 and prabhu sir what they had just to join right now so this is as this is the first session so that's why i have just uh, get made him uh, inside uh yes sir what you want to say you can unmute yourself and you can discuss roll number 51 sir uh, last uh, semester uh, we uh, get a form that exam refund fees but uh, not yet uh, student uh, yes, not yes, get yes, uh, yes 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 and not get any message from the bank yes, so other yes. department students to get that fees of uh, i think nearly about 200 rupees what is yes, the yes, issue sir yes uh, 233 that is the fee is uh, exam fee is refunded uh, for, from our department also the third year student uh, means last year third year student and uh, final year student they received that amount and if it is the case with you only or the uh, no one uh, has got that uh, refund amount yes sir uh, so that uh, no one no one okay so why it is not there so who has collected this all the det bank details from you nursery sir yes yes yeah yes we so, send the google form mm -hmm. and uh, we submit it no no but uh, uh, what exact, uh, exactly i according to me it is happened so that exam uh, form fee uh, exemption that is given to the 1920 same to 1920 2021 च्या सेकंड सेमला फक्त ते एक्झामशन मिळालेलं आहे एक्झाम फॉर्म च सो यू वेअर नॉट देअर इन द नाईन्टीन ट्वेंटी यू जॉईंट दिस पर्टिक्युलर कॉलेज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस माईट बी सम कन्फ्युजन इट वॉज हॅपन अँड हाऊ सर हॅज टेकन दिस गुगल फॉर्म आय डोंट नो बट स्टील if it is uh, taken from uh, the other uh, your friends and all this so i will just get it confirm okay whether it was applicable for your batch also is it because whatever i know whatever i got the message and i was also the cc for last year or last semester also but it was for ekonis vicha same to chi ji exam zaleli university chi tar त्याच्यातली त्यांनी ती एक्झाम फी रिफंड करण्याचं युनिव्हर्सिटीजनं ठरवलं होतं अँड दॅट वॉज टू थर्टी थ्री रुपीज इट वॉज रिफंडेड अल्सो बाय द अवर कॉलेज ओके सो इन दिस मॅटर आय आय विल जस्ट गेट इट कन्फर्म अँड आय विल पुट ऑन द युअर ग्रुप अल्सो ओके सो थँक्यू फॉर जस्ट गिव्हिंग दिस टाईप ऑफ द इनपुट टू द सी सी ओके anything else anyone want to just discuss otherwise we will go ahead because the points from my side it is over so just a request to all that ki attend all the sessions regularly don't give any faculty to just put your absenteeism so still uh, i can find that the only 37 students are there here so why not the others so definitely today winning i will call them after this session so from tomorrow at least you just uh, make your naming format uh, start using your college mail id and if any type of queries are there so according to the this admission and the one google form is also given to your college mail id so now few of the students are not using the college mail id so they might not be got so you can just take from the your friend 
that link for that form and today itself that your status of sy fee that i want to get so that i can guide you i can just tell you or i can further promote you in the third year so tell to your friends also please check your college mail id today itself a uh, one google doc link i have sent so you supposed to just fill that so that i will get the information from yours the new roll call list it has been updated so you also received that roll call list one two numbers uh, here and there it is happened so new roll call list is there and accordingly you supposed to give the attendance okay so any if no questions are there so we can go further ahead in the our first session so our first session for this the particular subject mca so that is already been shown in the earlier slide that is microcontrollers and applications so this is a very interesting uh, subject is there as far as the, this particular the coding and those who are interested in just mounting as you are the diploma pass out student so definitely uh, you are knowing a little bit about the microprocessor the controllers now arduino uh, now after raspberry pi and now after the where is the latest trends are coming in the market so this becomes the this will become the very uh, what the interactive session and the important to you also so if you attend the, all the classes regularly and you will take the interest so before that the few for uh, policy as per our uh, policies we supposed to just go through that the our vision mission po po and pso so today's session uh, we will just uh, giving to this dedicated to this particular the points only so as you might be learn or you have gone through from the other subject teachers so as far as my duty is concerned so today we will go with that the by reading by just inculcating this the what the vision and mission of our institute as well as our department so uh, sweris college of engineering is having the its vision that to be nationally recognized among the best institutes in india for excellence in technical education the mission of our institute is to impart value added technical education through ambience of academic excellence research and life skills by inculcating personal touch and respect in relationship amongst the stakeholders so what is the meaning of this vision and mission you are aware but still as a duty i am just repeating so don't get bored so it is a part of it so vision is that the your goal long term goal it is the vision and the mission it is nothing but how you can going to achieve this particular mission uh, uh, vision of your institute so that is the mission that is the way how you can going to achieve your vision so that is what it is the of institute so as we are from the electronics and telecommunication engineering department so our department is also having some vision and the mission so it is vision to be recognized for excellence in education in synergy with research in the field of electronics and telecommunication engineering so that is our vision of our all the, the students and how you can achieve by using this mission so what is this mission of our department to impart value added technical education by nurturing the culture of collaborative research innovation and teamwork by imbibing imbibing means bimboni mutual respect and human values so this is the what mission of our department then we will go ahead with the peo that is program educational objective now you will say that ki what is the use of this one is it uh, considered in the syllabus no but it is that much important as for the whatever the we are following the bloom's taxonomy as well as the washington accord so uh, nba that is the one of the uh, council or the academics uh, which are sanctioning the giving the 
uh, why this Shreya Kulkarni entered in the waiting room again and again? I have admitted. Uh, Shreya, are you there in the meeting? Shreya Kulkarni, are you there in the meeting? No response from that side. What is happening? I don't know. So can you hear me? Is it audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So what is this PEO? So PEO, that is the program educational objectives. That is whenever a student get passed from the institute in the, uh, suppose in the next year, you are going to get it graduated. So after that, for five years, what you will be, where you will be, at what position you will be. So that achievable targets are being set in this PEO. Okay, what uh, today you are going to learn so for what purpose you are learning? So that is what the PEO after four or five years after the graduation. So you will be reaching at this particular position. So what is this? So department of ENTC has its PEOs to produce graduates who function successfully in professional environment using technical expertise in their career for contemporary problem solving in the field of electronics, communication engineering, and allied branches. Second PEO, respond to the growing and changing needs of society through lifelong learning to evolve innovative solution. So lifelong learning, it has been highlighted over here. So this learning is never is going to stop process. So you're supposed to just go on, learn and learn. So demonstrate leadership, commitment, and maintain ethics in their career. So ethics is very, very important in also personal lives, professional lives everywhere. So this ethics also we're supposed to maintain. And fourth PO, that is the demonstrate effective communication skill and the ability to work efficiently at individual and a part of a team. So this is also very important for your sake of getting the uh, recruit uh, in a good job, getting a good job or recruit in a good profile company. So this communication skill, how much you are working on, really we are uh, not aware at this stage, but as you are in a third year, so you are having a chance to get improve yourself because the first impression is the communication. So if it is well and good, so definitely it will affect on the your next task that is the technical answering. So at the time of interviews and all that in the next year, you are going to face. So that time definitely it will help it to you. So moving ahead, the next part is the PO. That is program outcomes. So what is it is? So engineering graduates will be able to. Means what? the immediately after the graduation in next year you are becoming the graduate so after that immediately what qualities you might be having by learning in these four years so that is what it is having the 12 qualities so first is apply knowledge of mathematics science engineering fundamentals and an engineering specialization to the solution of complex engineering problems Second one that is identify, formulate and review research literature, analyze complex engineering problem, reaching substantiated conclusions using first principles of mathematics, natural science and engineering science. Third PO, it is design solutions for complex engineering problem and design system component or processes that meet the specified needs with the appropriate consideration for the public health and safety and the culture, societal and environmental consideration. Four PO that is use research-based knowledge and research method 
including the design of experiments, analysis and interpretation of data and synthesis of the information to provide valid conclusion. Fifth one that is create, select, apply appropriate technique, resources and modern engineering and IT tools. That is the various softwares what we are learning here, including the prediction and modeling to complex engineering activities with an understanding of the limitation. Six one that is apply reasoning informed by the contextual knowledge to assess societal health, safety, legal and cultural issues and the consequent responsibilities relevant to the professional engineering practice. The seventh one that is understand the impact of professional engineering solutions in societal and environmental context and demonstrate the knowledge of for need for the sustainable development. Eight one that is apply ethical principle. So ethics comes everywhere and commit to the professional ethic and responsibilities and the norms of the engineering practice. Ninth one that is function effectively as an individual and as a member or leader in diverse team and in a multidisciplinary setting. So everyone is having the quality which can be work as an individual or in a team or a, as a leader. So you're supposed to find out which quality is there in you and accordingly you supposed to work ahead. So 10th PO is communicate effectively. That is communication skill on complex engineering activities with the engineering community and with society at large, such as being able to comprehend and write effective report. That is your synopsis writing or project writing or your uh, paper writing or anything, whatever it is there. So that is a design documentation, make effective presentation and give and receive clear instruction. So that is very important. So because uh, many times we are having the work, but we cannot express or we cannot uh, ask in an efficient way. And the opposite party didn't understand what exactly you needed. And that time you will not get the expected result or the help. So this giving and receiving the clear instruction that is very important and that is possible with the communication skill. So 11th PO is demonstrate knowledge and understanding of engineering and management principle and apply these to one's own work as a member and a leader in a team to manage project and in a multidisciplinary environment. And the last PO is recognize the need for and have the preparation and the ability to engage in independent and lifelong learning in the broadest context of technological change. So all this broad, just uh, having the abilities, you know, each graduates. So accordingly, you have to modify yourself. You have to take interest. You have to show the interest and get the knowledge. So last part of this one, that is the PSO, that is program specific outcome, program specific outcome. So that is the electronics and telecommunication engineering graduates will be able to design, develop, demonstrate experiments, analyze, interpret data in the areas of analog and digital design, communication system and allied branches. Second, Apply knowledge of electronics and telecommunication engineering to meet the desired needs within the realistic constraints with economic, environmental, societal, and ethical. And the last PSO that is use the technique, skill, modern engineering tools necessary for electronics and telecommunication engineering. So this is what the our broad areas of defining our institute's vision, mission, and the other these important factors. So I hope you understand. And uh, in the last year also, you have gone through it. So this is the revision for this vision mission. So with this, we will move ahead. So the third point that is the syllabus. 
now we are moving towards this particular the our syllabus so we will just go and check out this the so as far as uh, we are concerned with the our university that is punneshlok ahilya bai pv holkar solapur university solapur for third year btech entc this is the syllabus for semester 1 for the subject having the code 8314 and the subject name is microcontrollers and applications so i hope all of you has made at least one one small notebooks for each of the subject to just note down the points which you are going to study in on uh, in every lecture on daily basis so the teaching scheme uh, if you are able to see in this particular slide so it is having the four lectures in a week and two uh, hours for practical so uh, probably in the next week we are uh, expecting to start the practicals by using the virtual lab so in the att session timing also we have conducted few of the virtual lab experiment of your second year so you might be remember that so you also at your own also can practice to how to use this v lab you can search from the google and already we have given the virtual lab website names to you urls so by using that you can yourself can search for the different types of the experiment so examination scheme is uh, here so ese that is 70 marks will be there that is end semester exam so if it is offline so definitely you have supposed to write the exam for this 70 mark so if it is online so it will be of 50 mark but it get converted into the 70 marks automatically so that was the what you have observed in the online this particular situation the isc will be of 30 marks definitely it will be the 30 marks uh, probably two or three iscs we are going to conduct in a semester for this particular subject and uh, depending on the your various criteria that is ica that is a uh, internal term work we can give of uh, this particular continuous assessment that is 25 mark so that will include your journal assignment or your attendance your unit test all uh, these parameters are going to be considered in this 25 marks so how much the attendance is there so definitely accordingly you will get the marks so last time also you might be if you have seen the result so the internal term work you have gone through so depending on the attendance only we have minimized the or uh, made less the marks so it might be happen with you if your attendance is less so just take care of this particular maintaining the attendance it should be above 80% that doesn't mean that ki ha if it is a 80% is happen so just leave the lecture or session but it is not the case if 100% is there so plus 3 marks from our side we are adding to your total term work so plus 3 marks how much is the importance of this so you are already aware of this and uh, final poe that is practical oral examination of 50 marks are there so total as that of 175 marks are there for this subject so how much the importance of this particular subject you can get from this examination scheme and as far as this particular the your interest and you have already undergone with this the subject uh, in may be in your diploma so it becomes the very interesting so we will go move towards the syllabus so the section 1 that is the four units are there and in the section second four units so eight units are we have to cover so first unit is introduction microcontroller so four hours it is been allotted to complete this so what we are going to learn in this 
that is introduction the difference between microprocessor and controller then what is cisco risk controller then what is harvard van neumann architecture and development system for the this microcontroller that we are going to learn unit 2 it is a uh, deal with the this particular named the 80 uh, 851 so this microcontroller we are going to study in the first section 8051 architecture and instructions so for that the hardware the addressing mode the instruction set input output pins that is pin out diagram and the various features configurations of this we are going to learn in this second unit that is 8051 okay so third unit that is programming microcontroller so in the second we have gone through the various configuration and the pin out diagram so in the third actual program we are going to do so this is what the programming means uh, in it may be embedded c or it may be based on this particular the uh you you can use the various software also for that the kill and other softwares so whatever possible that we will see whether to use the assembly language programming or c language program embedded c language programming so in that what we are going to learn that is assembly language and c programming concept serial port programming timer programming interrupt programming and at the last uh, programs for the interfacing that is switches led relay and buzzer so if already you have gone through it you are familiar with this concept so definitely uh, i am expecting from your side also that the how we can made this sessions interactive the fourth unit again it is uh, related with this particular the interfacing interfacing with microcontroller so what we are going to interface lcd display matrix keyboard adc dac rajput rajput why again i not able to show here okay so adc what is adc what is dac stepper motor how we can interface but before that what is stepper motor that we should know because that know where it is uh, mentioned here so the students their self has to just uh, search on the google and find out that what is stepper motor i think in the first year mm, you was not there in the first year so you in diploma you gone through the various types of the motors that is dc motor ac motor uh, stepper motor induction motor so from that you supposed to get it the basic knowledge of stepper motor then the how we can add the external memory because the our controller is having the limited memory so if you want to add some uh, additional memory how we can uh, add this memory so that also uh, we can learn in unit number 4 so section second starts with the next part of controller that is pick microcontroller so what is the meaning of this pick and which pick we are going to learn so in the next unit we are we are, we are going to learn that but the basics of pick that we are going to learn in unit number 5 that is introduction architecture features configuration word and instruction set so which pick we are going to learn so in unit number 6 as it is mentioned in this slide so pick 16f 877a this controller they have mentioned in the syllabus and uh, it is a much popular and a famous controller is there the features of it that we are going to learn in this unit number 6 that is it's a pin diagram it's a registers features memory program memory data memory input output ports interrupt and various types of the reset what is the concept of this reset interrupt that also we are going to learn in unit number 6 ahead of this the unit number 7 and 8 are dealing with the different this particular the facilities or the 
peripheral feature and programming so that is timer capture compare pwm module that is ccp module then internal adc and the watchdog timer so what is this watchdog timer and how it is going to be used so that also we are we will see in this unit number 7 unit number 8 that is related again the communication by using this particular controller how we can communicate so master synchronous serial port that is mssp this module we are going to learn in that the spi i2c the usart module three modules are there so the these three modules we are going to learn in the serial communication these three points are only included in this particular unit number it and that is the end of this particular the syllabus for this subject microcontrollers and applications okay so the textbooks which you can refer for the additional this one so four books are been mentioned over here so from that the masdi uh, book is a uh, uh having the majority part of it that is the 70 to 80 percent part uh it is added in this the masdi so you can refer that book it is readily available in our library so the others are also you can use this particular the kenneth uh that is from the different editions or the different uh, publications are there so you can use this one also okay so must this is the uh, most popular textbook which is uh, referred for this particular the emca so i hope uh, whatever today we have gone through that is the our dip institute mission vision department vision mission po pos so you understand the syllabus also we have covered and uh, for the next point what is that the course outcome so that uh, we will get it cover in the next session so i hope you understand whatever the instructions are been given to you so you will follow and uh, there will be a good interaction with me as a class coordinator and in you so first uh, my uh, expectation is the attendance so if you attend the classes then afterwards whatever the you are having the problems and all other things so first attend the sessions and then you just talk about your problems or the issues with you definitely i uh, as far as my role is concerned so i will help you to get it sort okay so uh, i will uh, stop sharing over here so rahul rajput so many times i have added him but still he is in the waiting room so with the link we have uh, given the passcode so with the passcode itself uh, without uh, getting added by me you can get inside in the this session so this passcode is very important so without this the uh, uh, waiting room you can directly join our session by using this passcode so everyone is having that passcode in the message in the whatsapp group only it is been added by us so by using this only you can uh, join this particular session so from uh, today's session anyone is having any doubt query prabhu sarvade can you hear me yes sir okay so as for the instructions are given so you just uh, rename your naming format T Y B and like that. Forty hmm? two. That roll number only. Uh, Prabhu uh, Sarvade. That is uh, not expected. So please just uh, make uh, correction in your naming format. Okay. Have you got Prabhu? So okay. very good very good <laughs> but still prabhu that uh, division b is remain there so do it uh, after this session no issue so the attendance now problem so whatever it uh, daily i am just facing this attendance issue that for each uh, sessions ki okay, i was present 
sir was taken that time network was not there so this is happening for the other teachers also so what exactly one common policy we supposed to choose that i am also in a question mark so if you have any idea or the suggestions so definitely you can uh, give it to subject teacher so uh, whatever uh, way of taking the attendance by me so that is in the chat box because whatever the chat box you are going to put so that is going to be recorded so in the chat box you supposed to just put your uh, we can say the roll numbers so that we can put the your attendance that is my way so all are now requested to just put your, your roll numbers uh, that is what b underscore zero four like that and uh, i will put your attendance if you forgot to just put in the this one chat box if network is not there and all that i am not responsible for the same whatever the numbers are there in the chat box that only we are going to uh, use as a attendance afterwards no excuse will be entertained so please take care put your attendance for today's session and you can leave thank you Roll number 32. Vijay, are you there? Sir. Yes. Who is there? Uh, Meenal Mamane from. Huh. Huh. Yes, sir. madam. Yes, madam. Uh, sir, can we continue with our second year groups, project groups? uh that ha huh, we are revising your uh, project groups actually madam because the that project coordinator is been changed na this time so he was not aware ki which groups was there in the second year and directly he has formulated but we are revising this project list so definitely you can go with the last year group madam so give a little time to our power sir and he will coordinate with you okay okay thank you Ah, welcome. Thank you. 